good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have the first ever mdt royal rumble match the superstars who drew numbers one and two will start off in the middle of the ring and then every few moments a new superstar will come down to the ring the only way to be eliminated is over the top rope and we're gonna go all the way until there is only one participant remaining so to start off our match guys let's go down to myself on commentary as you guys know, I am Trey, and I will be commentating all of the action here tonight. Guys, let's go ahead and send it down to the interstates to find out who drew numbers one and two. And entry number one, ladies and gentlemen, is Seth freaking Rollins. We're going to burn it down here to start off our Royal Rumble matchup. He's rocking those flame tights. He's got his torch in hand, Brad. I think he's ready to burn it down. Seth Rollins definitely has a lot of work to do, though. Entering at number one is definitely going to be a challenge, but if anyone can do it, I know Seth Rollins has the capacity to do so. Now that we have our first entry, guys, let's just find out who drew number two. Hello, I am Elias. I wanted to play this riff. And it looks like Elias isn't wasting any time, Brad. He's getting right inside the ring. And it looks like he's going to use the guitar as a weapon. Oh, my God. He takes out Seth Rollins immediately with that guitar. And Elias isn't done, Brad. He's trying to choke out Seth Rollins with the neck of his broken guitar. He literally just busted him over the head with it. And now he's choking the life out of Seth Rollins. What a start for Elias in this matchup. If he can continue this dominance, it's not going to look good for Seth Rollins here in this Royal Rumble. And Elias trying to eliminate Seth Rollins. But Seth Rollins is barely hanging on. Holy sh**. Brad, he barely hold on. And Elias can't believe that Seth Rollins held on. I can't believe it either, but he better turn his attention to the entrance ramp as our first entrant by the countdown clock is here, and it's number three, Bobby Trashley. Bobby Trashley not looking too amused here as he makes his entrance at the Royal Rumble. It looks like Trashley has got some plans for Elias' stool. Brad, he's bringing it down to the ring. And holy Christ, he's going right at Elias with that stool. Trashley not taking any prisoners here today in this Royal Rumble as he's eliminated Elias right now with that stool. And mercifully, Seth Rollins flips himself back inside the ring after nearly being eliminated by Elias. But no rest for the weary as Trashley seems to turn his attention on Seth Rollins and start choking him out with that guitar neck of Elias's. But Trashley not looking behind him as Elias comes up and nails him and Seth Rollins behind with that stool. Seth Rollins already been dealt a ton of punishment early on in this Royal Rumble match. If he wants to sustain any sort of longevity in this matchup, he's definitely going to have to rest and not take so many big shots. After nailing Lashley and Seth Rollins with that stool, Brad, I think Elias needs to turn his attention to the entrance threat. As another entrant is making their way down to the ring, it looks like a crippled Jason Jordan is our number four entry into the MDT Royal Rumble. I don't even know how the hell Jason George's supposed to compete. He's got a neck brace on. He's got like a broken freaking neck like his father. How the hell is he supposed to compete today here in the MDT Royal Rumble? I think Elias is just as confused as everyone else here. He's not even attacking Jason Jordan. I guess he just sort of feels bad for the man. All right, as Elias turns around, Jason Jordan comes up from behind with that neck brace as he's choking the life out of Elias. My God, it was all a ploy by Jason Jordan. As it looks like Jason Jordan's plans were for now as he's choked out Elias on the ground there, but I don't think he sees Seth Rollins. And a huge super kick by Seth Rollins to Jason Jordan taking out the man. But Seth Rollins turning his back on Lashley again is another mistake as Bobby Lashley is choking the life out of Seth with a stool now. I mean, my God, Seth Rollins cannot get away from all this punishment early on in this Royal Rumble match. All the carnage spread out across the ring. Jason Jordan, Elias, and Seth Rollins all down. But Bobby Trashley has to focus on the next entrant into our Royal Rumble. Number five is Bubba Ray Dudley. One half of the Dudley boys is here, and he's wielding his own wooden table. It seems like every single entrant into this Royal Rumble has brought some sort of weapon or object to the ring to use here in the MDT Royal Rumble. Bobby Trashley looking totally confused here as he's wondering why Bubba Ray Dudley is not getting in the ring. Bubba Ray Dudley's just waiting outside the ring here as if he's waiting on something or someone to come out here as he's waiting outside the ring. Bobby Trashley totally confused as, as I am, Brad. As Jason Jordan finally gets up to his feet. Oh my God, a huge spear by Bobby Trashley into the corner on Jason Jordan. My God. And after that massive spear by Bobby Trashley onto Jason Jordan, it looks like Elias has finally made it back to his feet now. 
But there's no rest for the wicked as a huge spear into the corner by Bobby Trashley onto Elias. What an epic spear into the corner by Bobby Trashley, but he doesn't see Seth Rollins on the springboard. Oh, what a shotgun dropkick off the springboard by Seth freaking Rollins. It seems Seth Rollins can kind of rest now. Brad is Jason Jordan, Bobby Trashley, and Elias are all down. But the number six entrant is on their way to the ring, and it is Devon Dudley. The other half of the Dudley boys is here. Now we know why Bubba Ray wasn't entering the ring. He was waiting on his brother, Devon. And now I don't know what to think for Seth Rollins. This cannot be good news for Seth Rollins as he awaits alone in the middle of the ring. And these men are done. They're going up under the ring for more tables. They already have two, but Bubba and Devon are going for even more. I mean, how many tables could they possibly need? Oh, and they're going straight at Seth Rollins with a big 3D through the table for Seth Rollins. And they're not done. They turn their attention on Jason Jordan 3D through the other table. And now it's Elias' turn to go through the table with a 3D. And there's only one more 3D to hand out. Brandon is going straight to Bobby Tressley with a 3D through the table. My God, we have absolute carnage here in the ring. Every single member of this Rumble got put through a table. Christ on a cycle. They have taken out everyone in this Rumble match. If it were a tables match, this thing would be over. But it's not. This is a Royal Rumble. And they have to turn their focus. On the entrance ramp, my God, it's Brock Lesnar, the Beast Incarnate, is here. I don't know if the Dudley boys are going to stand a chance against this monster. My God, this is absolutely insane. And the Beast looks fired up. Brad, he looks like he's going to take Devon and Bubba Ray to Suplex City here tonight. And oh my God, Brock Lesnar's got Bubba Ray Dudley up on his shoulders. He's looking for that F5, my God. He broke the table and threw him into the crowd. Oh my Lord, Jesus Christ. This bastard didn't even wear wrestling attire. He wore his damn workout gear. And now his focus has shifted onto Devon Dudley. Technically, Bubba Ray Dudley was never eliminated. Therefore, he's still eligible. And we haven't had a single elimination in this whole entire Royal Rumble so far. And now Brock's got his sights set on Devon Dudley with an F5 through another table. And we have our first elimination of the matchup. Brock Lesnar eliminates Devon Dudley as brother Bubba is still unconscious on the barricade. The entire ring is just insane right now. Men everywhere. Tables are broken everywhere all across the arena. Brock Lesnar took out half the freaking MDT universe and freaking Devon Dudley was our first elimination and Bubba Ray lays unconscious there. My God, the Beast has welcomed everyone to Suplex City. Speaking of Suplex City, he suplexes Bobby Trashley square out of the ring and we have our second elimination. Devon Dudley and Bobby Trashley are now eliminated from the MDT Royal Rumble. The first two eliminated. Who awaits the Beast as the number eight participant in the MDT Royal Rumble? Oh, what the hell happened to the lights? Oh my God, the number eight entry is Bobby Roode. The glorious Bobby Roode is here, spinning in his magical light. My God, what does this mean for the Beast Incarnate? Oh, the Beast interrupts Bobby Roode's entrance and gives him an F5 square on the stage. And Bubba Ray Dudley's lifeless body continues to lay on the barricade. Somebody get this man. And this isn't what I mean, but Brock Lesnar has loaded Bubba Ray Dudley up. And he finally eliminates Bubba Ray Dudley with an F5 to the outside. And Brock's not done with Bobby Roode as he smashes him square into the steel post and disposes him. Bobby Roode's still not eliminated. He hasn't even gotten inside the ring yet, but Brock Lesnar has eliminated three men this far in this MDT Royal Rumble. And Brock is still not done with Bobby Roode. He turns his attention to the announce table and an F5. Five, my God, he slammed his face right off the Spanish announce table. Bobby Roode has just been obliterated by the Beast this far. Is anyone going to stand a chance against Brock Lesnar in this MVT Royal Rumble? Brock awaiting his next challenger. Who is it going to be? Oh, my God. It's the Great Khali. Who would have thought we would see the legend that is the Great Khali in the first ever MDT Royal Rumble, the next participant. How will he fare against the Beast? Look at this legendary square off. The Great Khali and Brock Lesnar head to head in the squared circle of the ring. Oh, and Great Khali with a huge slap to the face of the Beast incarnate. Is that a huge mistake? Brock Lesnar back to his feet, but he gets slapped again. The Great Khali is mad. Oh my God, Brock Lesnar's loaded up Great Khali in a huge F5 to the monster that is the great Kali. How did Brock Lesnar have the strength? He was pissed off from those slaps. Maybe the great Kali has learned not to mess with the beast. 
And Greg Cully is not learning why you don't cross Brock Lesnar right now as he's getting stomped to hell like Stone Cold Steve Austin stomp on a mud hole in Great Cully right now. Brock is just an undeniable force thus far in this MDT Royal Rumble. But he better look out behind him because the rest of the field in the Rumble are attacking him from behind and taking out the Beast. And now all these men are going ham on Brock Lesnar, stomping him away after he dominated the majority of this matchup thus far. And now Brock Lesnar getting what was come to him. It looks like they have subdued Brock Lesnar for now, but Seth Rollins, Jason Jordan, and Elias are waiting the next competitor. And who's it going to be? It's the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy is the number 10 entrant in the MDT Royal Rumble. How will he fare against this field? The ring is totally full right now, but how will he fare against the rest? And while Elias, Seth Rollins, and Jason Jordan have their attention set on Brock Lesnar, I don't think they've noticed that Jeff Hardy has climbed the turnbuckle, and he's coming off the top, and he takes all three men out. My God, the innovative offense by Jeff Hardy with a nice sneak attack. And Jeff Hardy celebrating what he just did, but I don't think he notices the great Khali standing straight behind Jeff Hardy. Oh my God, Jeff Hardy better look out. Oh my God, great Khali has scooped up Jeff Hardy and he's gonna dump him onto Bobby Roode outside on the announce table, oh my God. But Jeff Hardy is safe, he did not hit the ground. He landed on the announce table and Bobby Roode. So Bobby Roode and Jeff Hardy are still in this Royal Rumble match. Great Kali awaiting the next participant in this Royal Rumble. This is absolute carnage. We've had tables, guitars, stools, all kinds of madness going around in the ring. But now we are waiting our next participant. And our next participant in the Rumble is Kane the Demon is here. Kane is here. How will he fare against the Great Kali and the rest of the pack? The number 11 entrant into the MDT Royal Rumble. Look at that sick grin on Kane's face. What does he have planned for the rest of the field? Oh, and it looks like Kane's gonna finally throw Bobby Roode inside the ring. This will make him eligible. And if he gets thrown over the top rope, he will be finally eliminated from the Royal Rumble. And Bobby Roode getting dumped into the ring by Kane. He is now eligible for the Royal Rumble. What does this mean for Bobby Roode going forward now that Kane has thrown him inside? We have Great Khali, Seth Rollins, Jason Jordan, Elias, and Brock Lesnar all awaiting the big red machine inside the ring. And now Kane puts his focus on Seth freaking Rollins and nails him with a huge choke slam in the middle of the ring. And he's not done as he's looking to do the same thing to Elias with another huge choke slam from Kane just destroying everyone in this rumble. And the madness continues with a huge choke slam to Bobby Roode now. So Kane has delivered three choke slams. Elias, Seth Rollins, and Bobby Roode all taking huge choke slams from the demon. And holy sh where the hell did Kane get that flamethrower from? It looks like he's going to use it on Jason Jordan. Oh my god, he's lighting his face on fire, Brad, my lord. And Jason Jordan's face has just been melted to shreds. My god, this insane Kane and Royal Rumble match. Oh, right, Kane's got Jason Jordan loading up for the choke slam out of the Royal Rumble. Jason Jordan is eliminated, landing on what was remaining of that table. Kane with his first elimination, and it comes at the hands of Jason Jordan. After Kane's elimination of Jason Jordan, Brad, we only have Kane, Brock Lesnar, and the great Khali remaining in the ring, but the countdown is going, and we're gonna see who the next participant in this Royal Rumble is. And who's it gonna be? Holy mother of God on earth and in heaven at the exact same time, it is Goldberg. Goldberg is here. How will he fare against the other monsters? We have so many massive superstars in the ring right now. We have Goldberg, Lesnar, Kane, and Great Khali, not to mention Elias Rude and Seth Rollins. Oh my goodness. And Jesus Christ, I think Goldberg just laid beef stew in Jason Jordan's face. And Kane better look out because Goldberg's not stopping as he just lays Kane out with a massive spear from Goldberg. Lesnar looking on, but I don't think that he realized that he's next and a huge spear into the corner by Goldberg on Lesnar. And Greg Cully in the corner better look out because, oh, and Goldberg spears him as well. Bobby Roode, oh my God. No one is safe. No one is safe in this matchup as he goes after Elias next. 
everyone in this match besides Seth Rollins has eaten a spear from Goldberg. And Goldberg isn't finished with Elias as he just dumps him over and Elias is eliminated from the Royal Rumble. And the carnage continues as he throws out Bobby Roode. So now Bobby Roode and Elias are both eliminated from the MDT Royal Rumble. Look at the strength on display by Goldberg. He may be old as hell, but he can still lift up the great, massive, great Kali. And that's not all because he's gonna dump the great Kali out and eliminate him. So not only was Elias and Bobby Root eliminated by the great Kali joins that company as Goldberg continues to dominate this Royal Rumble. This Rumble has been a spectacle like no other as Goldberg sits in the middle of the ring waiting on the next competitor to enter here as every other man is trying to make it back to their feet after the dominance of Goldberg. Who will our next contestant be? Oh my god, it's Chucky! How the hell is a doll going to compare to Goldberg, Kane, Seth Rollins, and Brock Lesnar? The evil doll Chucky is here. What a way to make your presence known here in MDT than the Royal Rumble. Let's go. How is Chucky supposed to fare up against these three behemoths of men? Brock Lesnar, Goldberg, and Kane on one side of the ring. And then we have Chucky on the other side of the ring. Oh my god, the little shit's got a gun. Oh my god, he's shot all three of them. Chucky disposes of Goldberg, Brock Lesnar, and Kane, but he doesn't realize that Seth Rollins is coming behind. Oh, and he hits him with a curb stomp right from behind on Chucky. What a move by Seth Rollins. And it looks like Jeff Hardy has finally made it back to the ring. Brad, right after being slammed onto the announce table and Bobby Roode by Great Khali, he has finally made his way over to the turnbuckle. As the carnage is going on in the ring, Brad, but the freaking countdown is coming down, so we gotta take a look at who our next contestant is. And it's the Viper! Randy Orton is here! Randy Orton is here in the MVT Royal Rumble as entry number 14. So Randy Orton will go to battle with Seth Rollins, Kane, Goldberg, Chucky, Brock Lesnar, and Jeff Hardy. And Jeff Hardy about to do a swanton bomb on a Chucky. Oh, but Randy Orton! Randy Orton caught him out of nowhere with the RKO. How the hell did he get from the beginning of the entrance ramp down here? But he hits Jeff Hardy with an epic RKO on to Chucky, no less. And Randy Orton with a huge RKO out of Seth Rollins, so no one is safe. Another RKO out of nowhere. Oh, and Randy's not done with a huge RKO out of Kane as well. And Randy Orton's not done as he dumps Kane out of the ring and eliminates him. So Randy Orton has eliminated the demon. The big red machine is gone. And Randy Orton's continuing with his tear with an RKO out of Brock Lesnar onto the pile of Jeff Hardy and Chucky. Oh, and watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, my God. God, Randy Orton eliminated the Beast Incarnate. Brock Lesnar is eliminated from the Royal Rumble. The Big Red Machine and Brock Lesnar are laid to waste by the Viper. Goldberg finally making it back to his feet as we await the next participant. Randy Orton on an absolute tear right now. RKO's out of nowhere for everyone as we wait our next combatant in this Royal Rumble. Y2J halfway through the participants and Y2J makes his entrance as Y2J gets inside the ring to get ready for this rumble and oh my god he gets speared completely Goldberg and Goldberg flies through the middle rope and he is not eliminated but he did fly through the middle rope as Chris Jericho gets destroyed by that spear by Goldberg after that wild spear by Goldberg Brady is recovered and he's getting back inside the ring to take care of Chris Jericho and oh my god, Goldberg's got the walls of Jericho locked in on Chris Jericho. It doesn't matter if he taps Brad, it does not matter. Chris Jericho is in a tough spot. The lower back, as soon as he entered this match, he gets immediately speared. And now the walls of Jericho are locked in on Chris. And I don't know what Y2J is going to do now. Oh, and it doesn't look like he has to do anything. Brad, a huge RKO out of nowhere breaks the hold on Chris Jericho of Goldberg. My God, what an RKO. And after that huge RKO, Goldberg sort of stumbling. And a huge curb stomp by Seth Rollins to Goldberg out of nowhere. And Goldberg is dazed on the ropes. And Seth Rollins is going to try to eliminate Goldberg. He's trying to lift up the leg. He's trying to lift up the leg of Goldberg. And he gets him. He gets him. He eliminates him. Goldberg is eliminated from the Royal Rumble. Seth Rollins has done it. He has eliminated the Beast 
Goldberg. Who would have thought Goldberg would be eliminated by Seth Rollins right there after the huge RKO out of nowhere when he had the walls of Jericho locked in on Jericho himself. The huge RKO, then the curb stump left Goldberg weak and he got eliminated by Seth freaking Rollins and now the countdown is going. Who's it gonna be? Oh my God, it's... Where the, where the hell is he? Where, where's Shane McMahon? I don't know what's going on, Brad. There's no Shane McMahon to be seen. Oh my God, where the hell did Shane McMahon come from? He falls from the sky completely and he takes out Seth Rollins in the middle of the ring. Shane McMahon coming up behind Seth Rollins. He's trying to eliminate him. He's trying to eliminate Seth Rollins. He can't, he can't get it. He's trying to throw Seth Rollins up. Oh my God, he almost had him, but Seth Rollins held on. Seth Rollins is hanging on. He's clinging to life on the edge of the rope. Shane McMahon almost had him. Shane McMahon cannot believe that Seth Rollins actually held on. I don't know why he's not going to eliminate him now. Oh, and a huge low blow by Chris Jericho out of nowhere. No one saw it coming. Shane McMahon just gets totally blindsided by that huge low blow from Y2J. And now Jeff Hardy climbing to the top rope. He's on the top of the turnbuckle. And Shane McMahon is in perfect position for a swanton bomb from Jeff Hardy onto Shane McMahon. What a huge swanton bomb. Shane McMahon is definitely feeling that. After the low blow from Chris Jericho, the huge swanton bomb onto McMahon, and I know he's got to feel that one. We're awaiting the arrival of the next superstar as the carnage still is going around in the ring. We have Chucky packing heat. Ready for whoever comes through that curtain. Randy Orton, strong competitor in this matchup. Y2J trying to get back up to his feet. Seth Rollins still in from the number one entry. This will be entry number 17. He has been in there forever. Here comes the countdown. Oh my God, it's freaking Leatherface. Where's his chainsaw though? You would think that he would be wielding a chainsaw if all these people brought all these weapons, all these different things to the ring. We have a freaking gun for God's sakes in the ring. And he didn't even bring his chainsaw. I guess that sort of just, you know, calls to his mental capacity. But anyways, he is competing here in the Royal Rumble match. How will Leatherface fare against the rest of the field? And here's Leatherface in the ring and a huge clothesline to Y2J by Leatherface making his presence known early in this Rumble for him. And Leatherface isn't done. He eliminates Chris Jericho. He eliminates Y2J. He's gone after one clothesline. The mammoth clothesline by Leatherface and Y2J is out of here. But oh, Leatherface doesn't see Chucky behind him. Oh my God. Three shots to the chest by Chucky to Leatherface, and it takes him completely out. Chucky trying to drag the corpse of Leatherface, but he can't move him. He's too heavy for Chucky's small body. Chucky trying to move Leatherface, but here comes Randy Orton. Oh my God, and he punts his head off. He punted his head right off his shoulders. This is absolutely mind-blowing. This is mind-blowing. He punted his head off. Randy Orton, the Viper, just punted Chucky's head off. As you can see here, can you even see, Brad? What is happening? I don't know what the hell's going on, but a headless Chucky in the punt and then step off the shoulders, and then the countdown is going. Here we go. Who's the next entry? Oh, my God in heaven. It's Michael Myers. Michael Myers has come home. Number 18 is Michael Myers. We have three horror legends in this matchup. A headless Chucky, Leatherface, and now Halloween's own Michael Myers makes his debut in the MDT Royal Rumble. And Michael Myers is here, Brevin. Oh my God, Randy Orton. Randy Orton shoots Michael Myers. He shot him three times. He shot him, he shot Michael Myers dead. I think we spoke too soon because Michael Myers is back on his feet and he's coming after Randy Orton. Oh my God, he's stabbing Randy Orton. And now Michael has his sight on Jeff Hardy and he stabs him square in the chest. And Michael's not done as he finishes up with Seth freaking Rollins and he's stabbing the hell out of Seth. Oh, and Michael has his eyes set on one more victim and a huge stab to the sternum of Shane McMahon and he is going to bleed out here as Michael Myers has been on a tear since entering this Royal Rumble match. And now Michael Myers is going to dispose of the dead corpse of Shane McMahon and Shane McMahon is eliminated from the Royal Rumble. After Michael Myers eliminates Shane McMahon, Leatherface has recovered as they await the next entrant into the Royal Rumble. Meanwhile, Chucky has found his head and placed it back on his shoulders. That's good for him. But staying on top of things, guys, the next entrant into the Rumble is the MDT Horror Champion, Jack Gallagher. What a turn of events. He won the October's edition of the MDT Monthly Battle Royal where he overcame 19 other horror icons 
and he is the MDT Horror Champion, and now I think that the horror icons are ready to get their revenge on Jack Gallagher. It probably isn't going to be a good scene for him when he enters the ring. It's Jack Gallagher, the MDT Horror Champion, versus three horror icons. I don't think it's going to end well for Jack Gallagher. Oh, am I going to slap the hell out of Jack Gallagher? We know it wouldn't end good for Jack. And Leatherface is stomping a mud hole into Jack Gallagher, the MDT Horror Champion, just getting beat to hell and stabbed. A bloody beaten to hell Jack Gallagher resting on the ropes. And oh my god, Chucky opens fire! And Jack Gallagher has been shot square out of the ring and the MDT Horror Champion is eliminated. The horror icons make quick work of Jack Gallagher and he is gone from the MDT Royal Rumble. And it looks like this horror stable is taking over the Royal Rumble, Brad. The reigning dominant, they just took out Jack Gallagher and they're looking very strong as they await the next competitor in this Rumble. Who will it be? What the hell is that noise? Is, what is that noise? Demon King is here, the number 20 entrant, the MDT Battle Royal Champion Finn Balor makes his appearance known here. And it looks like he's gonna have to square off against the horror icon. And honestly, I think it looks like he took Leatherface's chainsaw. That's where Leatherface's chainsaw has been this whole time. We thought he just forgot it. No, it looks like the demon took it this whole time. Oh, here comes Finn Balor with that chainsaw. Oh my God, he's gonna have to touch a Leatherface. My Jesus Christ, he's just tearing him apart. Now Finn sets his sights on Michael Myers. And it's the same result. Oh my God, he's tearing his insides out with that chainsaw. And Finn's not done as he goes right at Chucky. And oh my God, he's freaking sawed his head off. Oh my God, Jesus in heaven. And Finn Balor has got Chucky. And he's gonna go... Oh, and he eliminates Chucky. Chucky is finally eliminated from Royal Rumble contention as the Demon King eliminates him and he joins Jack Gallagher in the potty of corpses. And after being destroyed by that chainsaw, Leatherface is resting on the ropes, dazed. And here comes Finn Balor with a huge drop kick and it knocks him onto the apron and he cleans him up. All he has to do is knock him into the floor and he's kicking him and Leatherface is barely hanging on but he's finally eliminated by the Demon King, Finn Balor. So he eliminates Leatherface and Chucky immediately. Michael Myers recovering from that chainsaw but here comes Finn Balor on the shotgun drop kick straight into the corner by Finn Balor and it sends Michael to the ground. Finn Balor climbing the turnbuckle and he's looking for that coup de gras onto Michael Myers. My god, what a beautiful coup de gras off the top rope. And now Jeff Hardy recovering in the corner, but here comes Finn Balor on another shotgun drop kick into the corner, sends Jeff Hardy flying. As Finn Balor goes up to the top rope, he's looking for another coup de gras onto Jeff Hardy as he crushes the sternum of Hardy and Michael Myers. The Demon King patiently awaiting the number 21 entrant into the Royal Rumble. And it's gonna be... What the fuck is that? As Trash Corbin enters the ring, oh my god, here comes Finn Balor! And Finn Balor's gonna eliminate Trash Corbin immediately! That's the shortest elimination we've seen thus far! Trash Corbin immediately eliminated as the crowd goes wild. And now Finn Balor awaits the 22nd participant in the Royal Rumble. We're only down to a few left in this Royal Rumble match. And the next competitor is going to be... Good Christmas, it's Santa Claus! Santa Claus is here in the MDT Royal Rumble as the 22nd competitor. This is absolutely nuts, Brad. The runner-up in the Christmas edition of the MDT Battle Royal is here, beaten out by Demon King Finn Balor. He's back for revenge, and what a square-off we're going to have. 
Finn Balor versus Santa Claus. Oh, and Santa Claus comes in swinging, and he's just nailing Finn Balor. He nails Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton. He is going to town with his Santa sack full of whatever goodies he chose, Brad. Mike. God, just eliminating the whole field. Taking out Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy as well as the dominant Demon King. He's getting that revenge back for that MDT Battle Royal last month. Not even Seth Rollins is safe, Brad. He's getting tattooed by that Santa sack. Again, I have no idea what is in there, but Seth Rollins is getting waylaid by that Santa sack. And Lord Christmas, Jeff Hardy's been thrown out of the Royal Rumble. He is eliminated by Santa Claus. And don't look now because Randy Orton just joined him. Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy, both legends, both future Hall of Famers eliminated from the Royal Rumble by the legendary Santa Claus. But Santa isn't looking. Michael Myers from behind is stabbing the hell out of Santa Claus. My God, the kidney stabs. Four competitors total waiting in the ring on the number 23 entrant. Who is it going to be? Oh my God, Brad. Can it be? Can it be the legendary? Can it be Michael Myers awaiting him? The champ is here, my God, the man brought a truck. John Cena has brought a vehicle, a truck to the arena, making his presence known here at the MDT Royal Rumble. But oh my God, sweet Jesus, Randy Orton and Jeff Hardy are in the aisle way, and oh my God, John Cena just runs him over on his way to the ring. Oh my God, get an EMT, they, they're stuck under the truck. What an entrance for John Cena here at the MDT Royal Rumble as Michael Myers and company wait on him to get in the ring. And John Cena not even going to use the conventional way to get in the ring. He's on top of the hood of the car. Michael Myers in the middle of the ring. Oh, what a big shoulder thrust from the hood. He jumped off the hood and took out Michael Myers in the center of the ring. And John Cena loading up Santa Claus AA onto the truck. And Santa Claus is eliminated from the MDT Royal Rumble. What an elimination and a start to this matchup for John Cena. And John Cena's not done. He's got Michael Myers up on his shoulders. Oh, my God. He AAs Michael Myers out of the Royal Rumble now. So John Cena has now eliminated Santa Claus and Michael Myers from contention in this Royal Rumble after making his presence known. John Cena now switches his focus to the Demon King Finn Balor. And John Cena trying to dump Finn Balor. But Finn Balor is safe. He's landed on the apron. He is fine. He cannot eliminate the Demon King at this moment. Finn Balor dangerously close to being eliminated on that one. It looks like Cena now is going to focus on the next competitor to enter this Royal Rumble matchup as the clock continues to count down. Who's it going to be? It's No Way Jose wielding his signature radio. No Way Jose is ready for the Royal Rumble with John Cena. Must be a theme in this Royal Rumble, bringing weapons to the ring. And Jose nailing John Cena with the with the signature radio, and he goes after Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins has been in this matchup for a long, long time. The man has to be destroyed. John Cena, not safe from the radio, as neither is the Demon King. My God, what a shot to the back of the skull of the Demon King with No Way Jose with that radio. My God almighty, Jose going ape shit on these men in the Royal Rumble. And now Jose just dancing himself away on top of the corpses of his victims of his signature radio. Who will the next competitor be? Who will number 25 be in the MDT Royal Rumble as Jose awaits in the middle of the ring? Dean Mean Machine Ambrose makes his presence known at the MDT Royal Rumble, number 25 entry. Things just got a little more dirty as Dean Mean Machine makes his way to the ring. And Dean Mean Machine is gonna use the car as a platform as he just takes out Jose. Takes out Jose with a nice clothesline off the hood of the car. Oh, and a huge dirty machine from Dean Mean Machine Ambrose to the skull. Cracks it open of No Way Jose. And now Dean Mean Machine trying to eliminate Seth Rollins from the Rumble. Trying to eliminate Seth Rollins from the Rumble. Can he get him? Can he get him over? His leg is caught. His leg is caught. He can't get Seth over the ropes. Oh my God, he flips over, but his hand is hanging on. Seth Rollins hangs on barely. One hand on the ropes as Seth Rollins survives. Oh, and Dean Ambrose turns around, and oh my God, there's John Cena. And Cena loading me machine up for a huge AA to Dean Ambrose at the center of the ring. Cena awaiting number 26 in this Royal Rumble. Jose, Seth, Balor, and Dean Ambrose all laid out in the middle of the ring. Who will 26 be? Oh my God, can it be? It is it's the Olympic hero. He won the Olympics with a broken freaking neck. It's Kurt Angle here at number 26 in the MDT Royal Rumble. What does this mean? What does this mean for the rest of us? As Kurt Angle 
is here to cause havoc at the MDT Royal Rumble. And Angle going straight at Cena with a huge German suplex. And he turns his attention to Mean Machine as he launches him across the ring with his own German suplex. And Angle shifts his focus to the Demon King as he German suplex Finn Balor in the middle of the ring. It's a German suplex frenzy here as it's Seth Rollins' turn for a German suplex. And now Angle looking for the belly to belly on No Way Jose. And he launches him out of the ring. He launches Jose out of the ring and he's eliminated. No Way Jose. The Savage is done as Kurt Angle, the Olympic hero, just eliminates No Way Jose from the Royal Rumble. And Angle isn't done. He switches his focus to Dean Me Machine and he flips him square out of the ring and Dean Me Machine will join the eliminated Jose. Dean Me Machine and No Way Jose eliminated by belly to belly suplexes by the Olympic hero. And Kurt Angle celebrates in the middle of the ring with milk after he eliminates Dean Me Machine Ambrose and No Way Jose. And now he gets ready for the number two. 27 entry into the NBT Royal Rumble. Who will it be? Look at that look on Kurt Angle's face. Brady doesn't believe it. Triple H is here in the MDT Royal Rumble. On Kurt Angle, pelting milk bottles at Triple H as he makes his entrance down to the ring. And Triple H has got that sledgehammer and he nails Kurt Angle in the face and then he nails John Cena as well and then he turns his focus onto Finn Balor and he nails Finn Balor in the face, my God. Triple H shifts his focus onto Seth Rollins in the corner who's literally been in there forever now, Brad. Seth Rollins was the number one entrant in the Royal Rumble and now Triple H has all of his focus on him, a fresh Triple H. Oh, and Triple H has got Seth Rollins and he nails him with the pedigree, a huge pedigree to Seth Rollins, he could be in huge trouble now. And Triple H throws Seth Rollins out of the ring. Seth Rollins was in there forever, Brad, but his time comes up empty in the MDT Royal Rumble after Triple H, a fresh Triple H, nails him with the pedigree and throws him out of the ring. After knocking out every man in the ring with a sledgehammer and eliminating Seth Rollins, Triple H awaits entry at number 28. The Phenom is here! The Dead Man, The Undertaker, is entrant number 28 into the MDT Royal Rumble. And Triple H can't believe it. He's totally stunned. The Undertaker is here to take souls and dig holes. And he's got a casket with him. And oh my god, Undertaker's got that casket. He's gonna crush Triple H with it. Holy farts in a bag, Brad. The Undertaker just shit it on Triple H with that casket and that he literally buried the man. I guess that's for years of burying others, bitch. And the dead man makes an immediate impact in the Royal Rumble. And the Undertaker has opened up the casket. Brad, I think he's gonna try to put someone in there. The Undertaker's got Triple H and he tombstones him square into the casket. A huge tombstone and I think Triple H is unconscious. He literally tombstoned him, broke his neck, put him in the casket and now I think he's gonna take out the trash. And Undertaker shuts the casket and now, what is his plans? I think Taker's looking to dump that casket out of the ring. And there he goes, Brad, he's dumping Triple H out, and he does, he dumps him out of the casket onto the outside floor, and Triple H is eliminated from the MDT Royal Rumble. This is the craziest match I've ever seen, Brad. Caskets and tables and trucks and everything. My God, I mean, like every, like this whole arena is torn apart. And The Undertaker looking to spread heaven, but here comes Finn Balor with a shotgun drop kick from behind. Balor taking out The Undertaker. This is his opportunity. This is his opportunity. Balor has a great opportunity right now to put out The Undertaker. Finn has flipped The Undertaker over, and he's climbing the turnbuckle. Brad, we could be looking at another coup de gras by Balor. And here comes Balor off the top rope, nails the coup de gras on The Undertaker, the dead man. The dead man. And we're not done as Kurt Angle has climbed up to the top rope. I think Kurt Angle may be looking for that moonsault. And he nails the moonsault on The Taker. Taker is down. Taker is not in good shape. Everyone in this Rumble match is exhausted. Finn Balor, Undertaker, Kurt Angle, and John Cena look on. Who will be entrant number 29 into the MDT Battle Royal, the second to last entry. And what a phenomenal entry. It's AJ Styles is making his way to the ring for the MDT Royal Rumble. What an epic way to end our Royal Rumble. Then with AJ Styles coming out at number 29. And AJ Styles runs in off that truck and takes out John Cena with a phenomenal forearm. What a start to the rumble for AJ Styles. AJ Styles looking for the Styles Clash, but Angle reverses it and does some sort of wicked move on AJ Styles to get out of the Styles Clash. Kurt Angle on the offense now, looking around, but he better look out. Shotgun drop kick by Finn Balor out of nowhere. 
This is Finn's opportunity again. Kurt Angle is down. And Kurt Angle laying on top of that Santa sack full of God knows what. And Finn Balor has made his way up the turnbuckle. Looking for the coup de grace on the Kurt Angle and the Santa sack. The back has to be broken of Kurt Angle. And Finn Balor dumps Kurt Angle over the top rope. Kurt Angle is eliminated finally. Finn Balor with another elimination under his name, and four men remain in the center of the ring. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're down to the final four. Finn Balor, John Cena, AJ Styles, The Undertaker, and I guess we have our fifth last entrant, and that is number 30 coming out to the ring. Good God Almighty! It's the first president of the United States, part of the Founding Fathers, George Washington, has come to the MDT Royal Rumble. It's General George Washington. What an epic surprise this is. He's wielding an axe and the American flag. What a turn of events. And General George Washington is going right at the Undertaker as he hacks him with the axe. Oh, and he impales John Cena with the flagpole, the American flag. And General Washington just threw the Undertaker out of the ring and he is eliminated and not only that but he took out half the crowd they got knocked over earlier by Brock Lesnar this is madness and General George is done oh my god he suplexed Super Cena out of the freaking ring and he's eliminated he launched him all the way into the crowd George Washington is going nuts the final three participants are remaining AJ Styles Finn Balor and General George Washington. Here we go, Brad. This is going to be exciting. Oh, and AJ Styles and Finn Balor take out General George Washington together. They realize they got to double team the man. And AJ Styles nails the Styles class on General George Washington, assaulting the former president. And Balor takes out AJ Styles with a sling blade. And Finn Balor's thinking high risk. He's thinking coup de grace to George Washington. Oh, but he comes up empty. He misses completely. And the miss puts AJ Styles in a perfect position to hit him with a 450 splash. My God. And AJ Styles, AJ Styles trying to eliminate the demon Finn Balor. He's trying to eliminate the demon Finn Balor, but he can't. Finn Balor holds on barely. Finn Balor hung up by the skin of his teeth. AJ Styles can't believe it. But AJ Styles turns around and eats a United States of ass kicking from George Washington, but he's still hanging on. George Washington. George Washington trying to shove AJ Styles off the apron, and he doesn't. AJ Styles is eliminated from the MDT Royal Rumble. George Washington is still in. George Washington in a not-so-good situation on the apron. Here comes Finn Balor with a shotgun dropkick, and it knocks George Washington out. And Finn Balor is all alone in the middle of the ring. That means that he is your winner. Finn Balor is the only man left in the ring. Finn Balor has done it. He has outlasted all of them. But why hasn't the bell rang? I don't understand what's going on. Oh my god, it's Seth Rollins. He was never eliminated. He takes out Finn Balor. This match is still going on. I can't believe I didn't notice it before, Brad, but Seth Rollins never landed. He landed on the truck, and he, he was chilling in the bed of the truck the whole time. And now it's down to Finn Balor and Seth Rollins for the winner of the MDT Royal Rumble. What the hell is the Demon King doing, Brad? It's like he's using some sort of sorcery, and it's lifting Seth Rollins up in the air. He's literally lifting Seth Rollins. He's lifting him off the ground, and oh my god, he launches him across the arena. That's it. Finn Balor wins the Royal Rumble. Finn Balor is the winner of the MDT Royal Rumble. He outlasted all other 29 men, and he is your first ever MDT Royal Rumble winner. The Demon King, Finn Balor. Finn Balor has done it. He has done it. He won the first ever MDT Royal Rumble. Finn Balor is your victor. He used his demon powers to throw Seth Rollins across the arena. And he is crowned Royal Rumble winner of 2019. Congratulations to Finn Balor. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Comment down below what you thought of the Royal Rumble. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos such as this. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.